For the April construction update, we are highlighting the areas of the program where activities have started picking up following winter shutdown. The first site is the Diversion Inlet structure. Over the winter, the Ames crews have been preparing the site for the delivery and installation of the steel tainter gates. The close-up views of the structure show where the gates will seal and slide along the concrete walls and also where they will be anchored as well. In the foreground, you can see the pieces of the steel gates that will be assembled and installed on the structure. This view is also looking through the inlet structure towards the future diversion channel. The second site is a Wild Rice River structure. The crews are working on the concrete abutment and pier walls and also preparing for the delivery of the tainter gates. The plywood forms you see will produce the center pier wall for the structure. The overall site view is looking north toward town and the river will flow through the structure from the lower left to the upper right of the screen. The third site is the I-29 grade raise project. Industrial Builders is currently working on the interchange bridge on County Road 18 over I-29. They have demolished the existing bridge and are working on the foundations for the new structure. In early May, they will also begin working on the intersection of County Road 18 and 81 to raise the roadway grades and tie them into the Oxbow, Hicks, and Bakke levees and the I-29 grade raise project. Here we are looking north across County Road 18 and in the background you can see the I-29 bypass constructed last summer.